Hi guys, welcome again to Asbury Hall Golf Club. Today we're going to be showing you how to strike your irons more solid. I'm Andy Proudman and I'm Piers Ward. You're watching Me and My Golf TV. Okay, so I've had a message through Facebook from Paul Sunich. Now, Paul seems to be struggling with his game at the moment. He went out the other day and he said that he almost topped every shot. He feels the club twisting in his hands a lot. And his playing partner or the, the guy behind him said he was moving his head too much or lifting his head. Now, um, a couple of things when we read this message, Pierce, sort of, mm -hmm. you know, sort of struck home with us, really. That First of all, it's nothing to do with your head. Okay, it's, a lot of people always seem to say this to, to their playing partners. Yeah. Oh, you lifted your head too early. Now, I can assure you that is topping the golf ball has nothing to do with moving this head too early. So uh, for you guys out there, do not tell your playing partners they lifted their head when they had a bad shot. Please, please, please. Okay. Now, the other thing that sort of made us think, Pierce, was the fact that Paul said he's topping his shot, but he feels the club twisting a lot. Yeah. Now, whenever you, you know, this happens a lot with people, you feel the club twisting your hands and they think it's something to do with maybe the grip or something, mm -hmm. but it's actually to do with the strike. Now, we don't think Paul's topping the shot, do we? We no. think he's actually hitting the heel of the golf club, yeah. okay? And if you hit the heel or the hosel of the golf club, the ball is not going to get airborne. For sure, for sure. Okay, so here we think, Paul, you're hitting, so the ball's going to go along the ground. And this is where the twisting is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we do this all the time. I get people to hold a golf club with their finger and their thumb like so. Now, if you hit the, the bottom of the, the golf club, so if it was a, a top out the middle, you'll see the, the club isn't really twisting. If you hit it at the sweet spot, it's not really twisting. But as soon as I go to the edges, you can see the, the club. Hopefully, you can see that on the camera there, that the actual, when I hit the heel, the club twists a lot. So that'll be where the twisting's coming from. And most people think it's the grip, but it's actually the contact. So you'll strike, the, and if you're swinging yeah. that golf club at 90 miles an hour, then that club's going to twist. It's going to move a lot. It's going to move a lot. And they move. tend to then grip the club tighter and then maybe even compound the problem. Definitely. So the first thing is, is realising that actually it might not be a top, OK? It's, I, we would say it's more than likely a heel shot. Now, how can we fix that? OK, we've got something set up on the ground here that is going to actually, first of all, find out if it is the, the problem. feedback, yeah. Definitely. Sure. And, if, and if it is, then we can do something simple to, to help you fix that. So, Pierce, what have we got set up here? Okay, so we've got two tee pegs in the ground. Obviously, got the golf ball pegged up as well. So, if I address the golf ball out the middle of the club, I can hit that golf ball and I can miss the two tee pegs either side. But if I do hit the golf ball out of the heel at all, or maybe especially where maybe Paul's topping it from yeah. out the heel, then I'm going to hit this tee peg here. So, I instantaneously get the feedback whether I'm hitting the ball out of the edge of the club. And again, but obviously, conversely, if I hit the ball out the toe, I'm going to hit the tee peg here. So this is going to give you some feedback, Paul, of actually, where are you hitting the golf ball? Where is that, where is that golf ball striking the face? And then once you can identify that, you can say, OK, great, what do I need to do that? Now, let's say that you are hitting the ball, you've found out, you've done the test, you've hit this tee. Yes, what do we need to do to practice now in order to, to get that strike more central? Uh, do you know what? I mean, one of, one of the simplest things is miss it. Miss it. <laughs> you know, don't, don't, don't actually even, you know, just actually address the golf ball and say, right, I'm actually going to hit some shots now and I'm going to make sure that I miss that. So lots of people will, will, will do maybe about missing that tee or actually focus on hitting that tee when they're swinging. Yeah, even maybe try and, trying to think about hitting more yeah. this tee and this tee may actually bring it more central. But just again, having the, the idea or understanding that you're striking this one, you know, just missing that, you know, works for a lot of us. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I know, Paul, you mentioned that maybe you're on a driving range as well. So it depends if obviously you're on a mat. I mean, we sometimes get three golf balls and hit the golf ball in the middle. Yeah. It's an expensive way to practice if you start hitting them all, but maybe it'll, it'll sort you out quicker. Put something in the way. Yeah, so head covers. It can, it can be bottles of water. It can be all sorts. Definitely. So that's a great way for you to find out there, Paul, if it is what we think it could be there. Yeah. And then you've got an instant drill that's going to help you just train that more of a centered strike there. OK, so Pierce. Let's just prove that we can hit the golf ball <laughs> okay. and you've got to miss those two tees. I, th I, think, I think one thing is to once you've actually got the feedback knowing which ones you're, you're hitting, then obviously it's great you can combat it like we said. If you're missing those tees and you're hitting the golf ball and topping it out of there, it is possible maybe you haven't got it quite set up or it is actually you have got a top. Definitely. So obviously we need to look at another way of sorting that out. Okay, okay so Andy, this is uh, nice. I better have a practice swing. So I've got to hit a shot, 190 yards over water between two tee pegs, no problem. Should be easy. No problem. Hey, look you at hit that one, one. T-peg, but it was the actual, <laughs> it, was the, it, was the, it was the one you were supposed to, get, to hit as well. Managed to get it on the green as oh, well. Pretty good shot. Not bad. Okay, Paul, hope that helps. Remember there again. You know, hopefully that's give you an insight there. To it may not be a top. It could be a hosel strike there. So great drill for you to practice. 
get on the range and work at that and give us your feedback. Post your comments as usual, guys, and we'll see you next time on Me and My Golf TV.